safety handling, and storage of medical gas cylinders. Our agenda, medical gas overview, to give brief information about medical gas, its different types and uses, guidelines to compressed gases safety use, to discuss general recommendations for safe and proper handling of compressed gases, transport precaution, to show proper ways of transporting medical gas cylinders from one place to another, proper storage handling, to specify the guidelines on keeping medical gas cylinders in place safe and sound, and lastly, medical gas handling the Makati Midway to give you an idea on how we manage the medical gas cylinders based on the JCI standards. Medical Gas Overview Medical gas is a specialized gas or gas mixtures to provide the needs of the patient and to supply various healthcare facilities. It is intended for patient administration in anesthesia, therapy and diagnosis, or for other equipment functions. Several hospitals use pipelines to serve as a convenient and economical method for the distribution of medical gases. On the other hand, medical gas cylinders or flask types are pressurized containers used to compress medical gas for storage and transport. Stocking up medical gas cylinders are crucial to provide constant supply of medical gas when transporting patients or in case that pipelines are not available. There are five types of medical gases that are commonly used in the hospital. First, oxygen is the most widely used gas for life support and respiratory therapy. Second, carbon dioxide is commonly used for less invasive surgeries and respiratory stimulation. Third, medical air or compressed air is a clean supply of air to use also as a respiratory stimulant and to operate equipments and other instruments. Fourth, nitrous oxide, also known as laughing gas, is commonly used in numerous surgical procedures as both anesthetic and analgesic. And fifth, nitrogen is commonly used in cryosurgeries and for storage of tissue cells and organs by means of freezing. Guidelines to Compressed Gases Safety Use Cylinders should be handled only by a trained person. Healthcare workers are required to attend a training to ensure they understand and employ safe practices. Compressed gases should never come into contact of oils, greases, and other organic lubricants. Medical gas, especially compressed oxygen, will react violently to oil and greases that will result to fire or explosion. Compressed gases should not be subjected to extreme temperature. Hot environment will result to excessive pressure buildup inside the cylinder while the cold environment may freeze it. Compressed gases should be identified by the label. Medical gas cylinders must have a readable labels and updated tags to easily differentiate them, especially during emergency situations. Compressed gases should pass quality check and recommends physical inspection before use. Double check for any dents, burn, cuts, or crack and return them immediately to supplier. PPE should be worn when handling cylinders. All warehouse personnel that involved in bulk storing and handling of cylinders must use appropriate personal protective equipment. The valve should be opened sideways slowly. Opening or closing the valve with a hand on top of the wheel is not recommendable. You may use soap solution for leak testing. Bubbles that appear around the potential area will indicate a leak. Refer to any maintenance personnel for any defective valve. Medical gas cylinders are equipped with a safety device called rupture disc. This will burst or rupture to release gas when the cylinder test pressure inside is reached. This is to prevent the cylinders to explode, become a projectile, and cause more injuries. Transport Precaution Use trolley to move cylinders from one place to another. Standard cylinders are made of full metal that weighs 60 kg while flask type weighs 2.5 kg. Roll the cylinders vertically inclined using left hand one at a time. Control the center of gravity while moving using left hand to not open the bulb accidentally. Use body mechanics when lifting to avoid back injury. 
pick up the cylinder by bending the knees forward and maintain neutral position. Proper storage handling. Store cylinders in a well-ventilated areas. Temperature should not exceed 51.5 degrees Celsius. Allow cylinders to be stored under cover and closed, dry and clean, well-ventilated areas. Segregate full, empty, and defective cylinders and secure them safely. Segregation of cylinders is a storage technique to avoid confusion, prevent delays, and wrong dispensing. Use cylinder stand or secure them safely with chain to prevent from falling. Leaving cylinders freely standing are prone from falling or being knocked over especially during disasters. Post no smoking or open flame sign in the storage or use area. Medical gases, especially oxidizing and flammable gases, are easily attracted to any sources of heat. Oxygen is one of the components a fire needs to ignite according to the fire triangle. Conduct cylinder storage monitoring for safety and security. Refer to safety data sheet to get information about the content, safety, and proper use of medical gas cylinders. While environmental rounds checklist to check the adherence to physical safety measure of the area. Medical gas handling the Makatimid way. Medical gases in the hospital is handled by central stores. It was commended last 2014 JCI accreditation for its world-class safety practices. We have four types of compressed medical gases that you can request in central stores. These are medical air or compressed air, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. Our warehouse follows the first-in, first-out method to ensure product rotation and provide safe and quality cylinders for our patients. We clearly identify the storage areas with appropriate signages to provide order and avoid confusion. We ensure the separation of full and empty cylinders for easy dispensing and replenishment. Standard cylinders are stored in a vertical manner and caged and chained at all times, while flask type cylinders are secured on the metal cylinder rack. Pulleys were used to secure all together the bulb of the cylinder. They are stored in a well-ventilated, well-lighted, clean, dry, and free from sources of combustion and ignition materials. Cylinders in nursing units are more secured now than before.